All right, I need to explain why some of this stuff makes me so angry. Okay, back in the 1990s, I was very heavily involved in gay rights activism. And one of the things that I continually had to tell people is, no, we're not asking for special rights. We just want equal rights. We want equality. That was the message. That was always the message. That was also the message that, uh, you know, that was the message coming from feminism as well. That was the message coming from racial rights groups. You know, equality. We want equal treatment. We want the same rights as everyone else. That has always been the message. Now come to the past five years or so, and the message that's sneaking in more and more, and you even find it in mainstream news sources, is this notion of equity. It basically means so much of the stuff that I pushed in the 1990s was a lie. When I told people that, no, no, we're not asking for special rights, we just want equal rights. Yeah, that was a lie, I guess. Was I a pawn? Did people on the left just not see that this is where things would go? Equity is certainly not equality. Equity is giving some people special rights. You're giving someone special rights based on their demographic. Who cares what their life has been like, how good or how bad? No, they get these rights simply because they're the demographic they are. Yeah, that, that's kind of shitting all over all the people who fought for equality all these years. Sh taking a big old dump all over, all over all of us. Making us all into a bunch of liars. Making us all just a bunch of, well, I guess you were just pawns. Ha ha. Pisses me off. I'm a 1990s liberal. I still fight for the same things I fought for in the 1990s. I still support the same values, for the most part, that I did in the 90s. How is this equity thing supposed to be a good thing? Yes, uh, yes, we're, we're giving everyone this, we're, we're equaling the playing field so we have a quality of outcome. Okay, well, what's that going to do to workplaces? Well, there's going to be a lot of people who have resentment towards those who they're going to assume have the job only because they're of a particular demographic. Then there's going to be the people who are of a demographic who is considered oppressed because of their demographic, working their butts off and getting into good positions and then continually questioning themselves as to whether they got the position because of their hard work and they're good at what they do or because, oh, they're that demographic, you know? Then there's the dumbing down of jobs. You know, if, if we've already been having a major problem with people not feeling really satisfied with their jobs because it just feels like they're, they're just a cog, that they don't have the, even have the opportunity to add anything significant to the job. Because their job is so dumbed down that it, it's, it's based on lowest common denominator. This sort of situation with, with equity will make that just many times worse. Jobs will be dumbed down even more. Women's rights was always supposed to be about equality. Racial rights was always supposed to be about equality. LGBT rights was always supposed to be about equality. But over these past five years... Identity politics coming from the left is saying equality isn't good enough. We want equity. And I'm not supposed to be upset about it. And the other people who have been involved in fighting for equality aren't supposed to be upset about it. It's not even supposed to concern us. If, if we're white, we're told that, oh, you're just upset because you're losing your power. The government literally stepping in 
in telling businesses that they need to discriminate and they need to hold this group high up on a pedestal just because they're an oppressed group and those of us who fought for equality aren't supposed to be upset? No, no, you're just upset because uh, it's white people losing power. Unbelievable. Unbelievable.